If you stop at a railroad crossing with more than one track? A. Wait to proceed until you have a clear view of all tracks. B. Stop on the first railroad track and watch for another train. C. Go through as soon as the train passes. D. Go through when one of the tracks is free. A. Wait to proceed until you have a clear view of all tracks. If you are stopped at a railroad crossing with more than one track, do not start moving as soon as a train passes. Wait until you have a clear view down all tracks before you start across. Even where there is only one track, do not start across immediately after a train passes, check again for another train that may be approaching. Which of the following is true? A. Drivers under the age of 18 are not allowed to text or talk on a cell phone while driving. B. Drivers age 18 and older must use a hands-free accessory when talking on a cell phone while driving. C. Drivers age 18 and older are not allowed to text while driving. D. All of the above. D. All of the above. In Oregon, it is illegal for drivers under 18 years of age to talk or text on a cell phone or other communication device while operating a vehicle. Drivers age 18 and older must use a hands-free device if they are using a cell phone or other communication device. A no stopping sign means that, unless directed to do so by a police officer, you may stop only. A. Long enough to unload packages. B. To avoid conflict with other traffic. C. To discharge passengers. D. For less than five minutes. B. To avoid conflict with other traffic. A. No stopping sign means you can only stop to obey a traffic signal, to obey a police officer, or to prevent a conflict with another vehicle. Guide signs are Fill in the blank Signs that provide directional and mileage information to drivers A. Yellow B. Red C. Green D. White C. Green Guide signs, sometimes known as destination signs, have a green background and provide directional and mileage information to specific destinations. They can be a helpful resource when driving in unfamiliar locations. Want to issue DMV test? Go to CheatSheets.com and get your guaranteed cheat sheet. Which of the following statements is true? A. Signal at least 100 feet before changing lanes to pass and ensure there is no oncoming traffic. B. Use your mirrors and look over your left shoulder to check your blind spot when passing to the left. C. When passing, wait until you can see both headlights of the passed car in your rearview mirror before returning to your original lane. D. All of the above. D. All of the above. When passing, you must always signal at least 100 feet in advance of your lane change. Always check behind you in your mirrors and look over your shoulder to check your blind spot. Wait until you can see both headlights of the passed car in your rearview mirror before returning to your original lane. If you begin to feel tired while driving, the best thing to do is to A. Get some coffee. B. Open your window. C. Stop driving. D. Turn on the radio. C. Stop driving. Being fatigued while driving is similar in danger to driving under the influence of alcohol. If you begin to feel tired while driving, the best thing to do is to stop driving. You are approaching an intersection when the traffic light changes from green to solid yellow. You should A. Consider it the same as a caution sign and continue through the intersection. 
B. Stop immediately. C. Stop before entering the intersection, unless you are too close to stop safely. D. Speed up to get through the intersection before the red light appears. C. Stop before entering the intersection, unless you are too close to stop safely. When approaching an intersection with a solid yellow traffic light, slow to a stop before entering the intersection, if it is safe to do so. If you can't stop safely, drive carefully through the intersection. This sign means A. Trucks only. B. Trucks are entering the highway. C. Upcoming hill. D. Trucks have the right of way. C. Upcoming hill. Warning signs are usually diamond shaped with black markings on a yellow background. They alert drivers to upcoming hazards. This sign indicates that drivers are approaching a steep hill and should prepare to adjust their speeds to continue to drive safely. This sign means A. Steep downgrade. B. Crossroad ahead. C. No right turn. D. Narrow bridge. A. Steep downgrade. Warning signs prepare drivers for upcoming road conditions and hazards and are usually yellow with black markings. This sign warns drivers about an upcoming steep hill. They should adjust their speed accordingly to avoid brake damage or collision. This is a fill in the blank sign. A. Stop. B. Wrong way. C. Yield. D. Do not enter. C. Yield. This triangular sign is a yield sign. When you see this sign, you must slow down to check for traffic and yield the right of way to pedestrians and approaching cross traffic. Stop only if it is necessary to do so. On slippery roads, you should A. Slow down. B. Drive more quickly. C. Drive the speed limit, with caution. D. Not drive more quickly than 20 miles per hour. A. Slow down. You should slow down at the first sign of rain, snow, or sleet, all of which can create slippery road conditions. When conditions on the road are less than ideal, safety may require that you drive more slowly than the posted speed limit. The act of turning your head and checking your blind spot before changing lanes, driving away from a curb, or merging your vehicle into traffic is A. A bad driving habit. B. A good driving habit. C. Unnecessary. D. Not necessary if you use the rear view mirror. B. A good driving habit. When changing lanes, it is important to check your blind spots. Do this by looking over your shoulder toward the next lane. Do not rely only on your mirrors. You are waiting to turn left at a multi lane intersection and opposing traffic is blocking your view. You should A. Accelerate rapidly when the first lane you need to cross is clear. B. Wait until you can see all the lanes you need to cross before going ahead with your turn. C. Wait for an oncoming driver to wave you across the intersection. D. Edge your car into each lane of opposing traffic as soon as it clears. B. Wait until you can see all the lanes you need to cross before going ahead with your turn. You should never start a left turn until you can see that all the lanes you need to cross are clear and that you can safely make the turn. When passing a large vehicle, the driver of a small vehicle must be prepared for A. Loud noises. B. Excess air pollution. C. Wind gusts produced by the large vehicle. D. Falling vehicle parts. C. Wind gusts produced by the large vehicle. 
large vehicles can cause wind gusts with a force great enough to cause direction changes in smaller vehicles. Drivers of small vehicles should be prepared to take proper corrective steering action when approaching or passing large vehicles that are moving at or near maximum speeds. A work zone. A. May be moving or stationary. B. Is marked with black and white signs. C. Does not require a driver to slow down and pay extra attention. D. All of the above. A. May be moving or stationary. Work zones are often stationary, but they may also be present in the form of moving vehicles striping lines, mowing, or removing snow. Work zones are marked by orange signs with black lettering or symbols. Slow down and pay extra attention when approaching or driving through a work zone. Fog can greatly reduce the visibility of other vehicles, pedestrians, and traffic signals. When driving in fog, you should a. Drive cautiously and reduce your speed. b. Not use your high beam headlights. C. Use low beam headlights to better illuminate the road and objects. D. All of the above. D. All of the above. Fog can greatly reduce your ability to see other vehicles, pedestrians, and traffic signals. When driving in fog, drive cautiously and at reduced speeds. Do not use high beam headlights. Low beams better illuminate the road and objects ahead in foggy conditions. When entering a highway from an entrance ramp, you should generally a. Enter above the speed of traffic to get ahead. b. Enter slowly to avoid other vehicles. c. Stop first, then slowly enter traffic. d. Accelerate to the speed of traffic. d. Accelerate to the speed of traffic. Entrance ramps for highways often have acceleration lanes. When merging with traffic from an acceleration lane, you should put your signal on, look for an opening in traffic, accelerate up to the speed of traffic, and merge into an opening in traffic. The effect that lack of sleep has on your safe driving ability is the same as a. The effect that alcohol has b. The effect that amphetamines have c. The effect that anger has D. The effect that driving with teenagers has. A. The effect that alcohol has. Fatigue and being under the influence of alcohol have similar effects on your ability to drive safely. For example, being awake for 18 hours impairs your driving about as much as a blood alcohol level of 0.05%. Being awake for 24 hours in a row has the same effect on your driving as a blood alcohol level of 0.10%. When approaching a steady yellow traffic light, drivers should a. Accelerate to avoid a red light. b. Continue driving, as they have the right of way. c. Slow to a stop, unless they are already within the intersection. D. Check to see what the cars next to them are doing. C. Slow to a stop, unless they are already within the intersection. A steady yellow traffic light indicates that a red light is about to appear. Stop unless you are already within the intersection. A red traffic signal light means that you must a. Stop at the stop line. B. Stop before entering any crosswalk. C. Stop before entering the intersection. D. All of the above. D. All of the above. A red traffic light means that you must stop before entering the intersection. You must at any stop line and before entering any crosswalk. You may pass another vehicle if the line dividing your lane from the lane you wish to enter is a fill in the blank line. A. Broken white. 
B. Double solid yellow. C. Solid yellow. D. Solid white. A. Broken white. White lines separate traffic lanes traveling in the same direction. You may cross broken white lines to pass, as long as the passing lane is clear. Fill in the blank. Greatly increase stopping distances and severity of crashes. A. High speeds. B. Slow speeds. C. Night drives. D. Uphill inclines. A. High speeds. High speeds greatly increase stopping distances and severity of crashes. The faster you drive, the greater the impact or striking power of your vehicle, should you be involved in a collision. This sign means? A. Stop sign ahead. B. Lane closed ahead. C. Railroad crossing ahead. D. Traffic signal ahead. D. Traffic signal ahead. Warning signs are usually diamond-shaped with black markings on a yellow background. They alert drivers to upcoming hazards. This warning sign indicates that a traffic signal is ahead and drivers should prepare to react to a yellow or red light. As a driver, you must stop at an intersection for a pedestrian? A. Only if the pedestrian is in a marked crosswalk. B. If the pedestrian is in a marked or unmarked crosswalk. C. Only if the pedestrian is directly in front of your car. D. Only if there is a separate walk signal for pedestrians at the intersection. B. If the pedestrian is in a marked or unmarked crosswalk. You must stop for pedestrians crossing the road at any marked or unmarked crosswalk. Yield the right of way and proceed when the crosswalk is clear. Which of the following are used on some highways to direct drivers into the proper lanes for turning? A. Flashing red lights. B. Flashing yellow lights. C. White lines on the side of the road. D. White arrows in the middle of the lanes. D. White arrows in the middle of the lanes. Arrows may be used to indicate which lanes should be used for specific purposes, such as driving straight or making a turn. The best way to deal with tailgaters is to A. Speed up to increase the distance between you and the tailgater. B. Slam on your brakes to get the other driver to back off. C. Change lanes or gradually slow down to encourage them to pass. D. Ignore them. C. Change lanes or gradually slow down to encourage them to pass. Check the traffic behind you several times a minute to know if another driver is tailgating, approaching too fast, or trying to pass. If another car is following you too closely, slow down and let it pass. Most rear-end collisions are caused by vehicles following too closely. This sign means A. Narrow bridge ahead. B. Lane ends or roadway narrows ahead. C. Industrial area. D. Freeway on ramp ahead. B. Lane ends or roadway narrows ahead. Warning signs are usually diamond shaped with black markings on a yellow background. They alert drivers to upcoming hazards. This sign warns drivers that the right lane is ending or that the road is narrowing ahead. You may cross double solid yellow lines? A. To pass a slow moving truck. B. To turn into a driveway. C. To pass another car. D. Under no conditions. B. To turn into a driveway. Double solid lines indicate that you may not pass or change lanes. 
You cannot cross the lines unless it is to turn left to enter or exit a highway, to turn into or from a driveway, or to make a U-turn where permitted. This road sign means A. No right turn. B. Curve. C. Turn right or left. D. Traffic flows only in the direction of the arrow. D. Traffic flows only in the direction of the arrow. This one-way sign indicates that traffic flows only in the direction of the arrow. You are stopped in a line of vehicles waiting at a stop sign. If there is no cross traffic after the vehicles ahead have passed through the intersection, you a. may proceed through the intersection without stopping again. b. must stop again at the stop sign or stop line before proceeding. c. may slowly roll past the stop sign. d. may follow the vehicle directly ahead of you without stopping. b. must stop again at the stop sign or stop line before proceeding. You must always bring your vehicle to a complete stop and yield to approaching traffic before proceeding past a stop sign. Don't feel pressured by surrounding traffic to avoid making a complete stop. This road sign indicates a. the maximum safe speed for a residential area. b. the maximum safe speed for an expressway exit. c. The maximum safe speed for an expressway entrance. D. The maximum safe speed for a work zone. B. The maximum safe speed for an expressway exit. This advisory speed sign indicates the maximum safe speed for a highway exit, in this example, 30 miles per hour. To prepare for anything coming up on the road ahead, you should a. Continually scan the entire road and all roadsides. b. Stare straight ahead at all times. c. Drive with your left foot resting lightly on the brake pedal. d. Maintain focus toward the middle of the road. a. Continually scan the entire road and all roadsides. Your ability to handle dangerous traffic situations depends largely on searching for and identifying problems before meeting them. Looking far ahead of your vehicle does not mean you should simply stare at the center of the road. You need to continually scan the entire road, including the sides of the road. This road sign means A. Keep right. B. Keep left. C. Pass with caution. D. No passing. A. Keep right. This sign indicates that a divided highway begins ahead. The road splits into two one-way roadways separated by a median or divider. You must keep to the right. To drive safely at night, you should. A. Increase your following distance. B. Not drive if you are tired. C. Make sure your headlights are working properly. D. All of the above. Certain highway signs require drivers to obey an indicated instruction. Such signs are known as A. Regulatory signs. B. Warning signs. C. Information signs. D. Guide signs. A. Regulatory signs. Regulatory signs require drivers to obey an indicated instruction. Failure to comply is subject to penalty.